Hello ladies and gentlemen, so a powerful question was asked indeed by somebody very powerful. How to powerfully activate Raj Yogas in our horoscope, alright, so that's the topic of today's discussion, hopefully in short as usual and if you have any questions, queries or comments in general, then you can always write it in the comment section, alright, and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and please watch this astrology basics playlist many of the questions that you ask is already answered by me in this playlist all right so you can just type your keyword and you can search it and you will find it in this playlist all right and yes if you want me to look at your personal chart and specifically guide you regarding certain areas then you could always go down to the description section of my videos just down below where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him because today we are going to powerfully activate the raj yogas all right so short recap what are raj yogas according to parashar muni i made a video on raj yogas this week and also three powerful raj yugas by showing one example chart all right so it is there in this playlist so if you have not watched please go and watch it okay so raj yugas they refer to the link between the lords of kendras and trikonas all right so kendras are the first fourth seventh and tenth and trikonas are the fifth and the ninth houses and the kendras represent the external world and the trikonas represent our inside our dna our our substance basically so when these two are in harmony then it's like saying that we as a person are doing what we want to do in world in life okay and when i say doing i don't mean in terms of career i mean in all the four pillars of life all right which the kendra signify so having raj yogas is a great blessing which we have obtained from our previous lives due to worship of certain avatars of lord vishnu of course and as usual raj yogas do not make somebody a millionaire or a billionaire necessarily okay and there are some things which i said in that video which i will repeat here don't keep counting how many raj yogas who has all right don't say that oh he has 20 i have only 19 all right he has yeah he has one you know i have i have three raj yogas <laughs> but the power of the raj yogas vary all right so one raj yoga somebody has that is enough to make that person a king it could be like in the case of lord ram he has the ninth lord and the lagna lord conjunct in the lagna aspected by the tenth lord so dharma karma dipati yoga is there in his chart and because this is in the lagna the only thing he has he has to do is just to be born dashrat and kaushalya just have to give him birth and that yoga is his of course he is vishnu himself those yogas must be there in charts of avatars but my point is that we do not know in detail without assessing that how powerful a particular raj yoga is okay so let us never 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 misunderstand by going on judging others horoscopes and comparing our yogas all right and even if you know then also you should not compare because always remember the way you behave with astrology the same way you will behave with people and the way you behave with people you will behave with astrology so for example if you are comparing raj yogas he has 10 i have 15 then he will also compare okay he is earning 10,000 USD per month. Oh, I am earning 15,000, you know. Oh, I am earning 5,000. So, the comparison, uh, if you do in astrology, will also do outside. So, refrain from that, okay? So, now coming to the topic of how to activate Raj Yogas, okay? So, suppose there is a Raj Yoga. Which Raj Yoga should we talk about? Let us talk of Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga, which uh, Lord Ram had in his chart, and Dharmaraj Yudhishthir, the great Yudhishthir Maharaj, who is who is the who was the emperor of the entire world, 
know who even the demigods like indra chandra varuna and everybody would come and offer their obeisances yes they would salute him <laughs> he was the undisputed emperor of the entire world once upon a time because he had done rajasuya yajna so he also had this yes and these two personalities they are the emblem of dharma because the ninth lord is involved in this yoga all right for both of them because they have dharma karma dipati yoga which is formed when the lords of the ninth and the tenth are linked in some way okay so i made a video on the 12 houses and remedies for 12 houses okay i made it last weekend on how to read certain sections from the shrimad bhagavatam to uh, benefit certain houses okay so if you have not watched it you can watch it in my channel you will find it in uh, the last 7 8 videos of course if you go to my channel now why am i speaking of that video here because we can use certain similar techniques all right so for example if we if we know that two particular houses of our horoscope is involved in a raj yoga so minimum two has to be involved all right one kendra and one trikon otherwise the raj yoga cannot be formed so suppose the ninth lord and the tenth lord are in some way linked and it is blessing you with dharma karma dipati yoga but many a times you will see that the yoga is not fructifying okay so i will make videos on every yoga to whatever extent possible and i will say the conditions which must be fulfilled for certain yogas to be acting properly okay so i will also speak on pancha mahapurush yogas and i will also speak why many people have panch mahapurush yogas and only it works in some cases okay what are the conditions for these yogas so now coming back to the point of activation so now you take the karaka for that house or those two houses okay so in this case who is the karaka for the ninth house and for ninth house we have surya as the karak ninth house also has jupiter as the karak okay so now the 10th house has to be involved because we are talking of dharma karma dipati yoga here so then who is the karak for the 10th house primarily it's mercury okay sun and saturn are also the karakas but mercury is the primary karak because he represents the skill which is required in any profession so now we can take both the karakas okay we can take sun from the 9th house we can take mercury from the 10th house okay and we can also take uh, jupiter for example okay so now we know sun and mercury uh, they will represent lord ram because mercury will represent lord vishnu and surya and mercury if you have to worship together now you can do separate worships but that's very complicated all right so you can also do separate worship for surya you can also do for uh, mercury like but, but you will end up in a lot of confusion there all right so let's make things simple so you need to know that lord ram signifies both of them okay because he is the vishnu avatar which signifies the sun god okay then for vaman dev for jupiter vaman dev is the avatar okay so if you can read sections from the shrimad bhagavatam about vaman dev all right which is in the eighth canto of shrimad bhagavatam bali maharaj is in the eighth eighth canto as far as my intelligence goes if i am wrong somebody can correct me and write it in the comments but in my knowledge it's the eighth canto all right so we can read sections about vaman dev we can fast on the days when the avataras were born okay should i repeat the days or the tithis sorry not the days okay because we do not know the day but we know the tithi so for example vaman dev was born on dwadashi that is why we celebrate vaman dwadashi you will get this in panchang okay vaman dwadashi so whenever there is dwadashi if you are having dharma karma dipati yoga you can fast and do special mantras for vaman dev that day you can chant this mantra om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya should i repeat om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya so this mantra you chant for 
16 rounds all right 16 means one mala is 108 times one round and like this 16 times this you do it only on dwadashi okay so this will make your jupiter very strong and for lord ram you can chant shri ram jai ram jai jai ram shri ram jai ram jai jai ram this mantra you can chant like this again 16 times all right and when was lord ram born he was born on a navami that is why we celebrate ram navami all right so take care take note of that so whenever navami tithi is there either it is krishna paksha or shukla paksha that is the time we can chant this mantra 16 times okay and uh, also on the days related to those planets okay so for example sun is sunday thursday is uh, for jupiter and wednesday is for mercury so on these three days especially we can do more of these remedies okay what we can do is on the days we can read sections from the Srimad Bhagavatam. So now for Lord Ram, either you can read from the ninth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam or you can read the Ramayana. Okay. You can read the Ramcharit Manas or you can also read the Valmiki Ramayana. Ra Valmiki Ramayana is best. Or if you are okay with Ramcharit Manas, that also you can read. That will really benefit you. Okay. And especially on the vara which means the day not the tithi on the day you can read more of the stories why do i say that why 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 on the tithi mantras and why on the vara the stories why because the vara represents the body okay so when during the vara which we read the stories then we are more aware of the personality their body their physical aspect okay of course, Lord Krishna says in the Gita that I do not come into existence in a material body. Yes, Krishna says that my form is divine. That Krishna says. So if you know in which shloka he says, write it down in the comments. <laughs> shloka homework for you from the Bhagavad Gita. So on that day, all right. So for Lord Ram Sunday, you can take Sunday and you can read from the Ramayana. Okay. And on Navami which is the tithi which is a part of the panchang you can chant this mantra shri ram jai ram jai jai ram shri ram jai ram jai jai ram so monthly two days you might get the navami tithi and you need to do 16 rounds on that day okay and the other thing you can do on the vara which is on sunday is you can also fast till 12 okay so why fasting why i'm saying because most of the times the raj yogas cannot function because the only reason is there are afflictions by malefics okay so suppose rahu is conjunct this dharma karma dipati yoga or rahu is aspecting then what happens is this yoga cannot function to that extent because we doubt ourselves rahu is the kalaka for doubt yes jupiter is faith rahu is doubt should i repeat jupiter is faith and rahu says no 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 there's no God. <laughs> Why do you need to listen to God? Why do you need to listen to this, that? Just do what you want. Just do what feels good, all right? Rahu is the Karaka for infatuation, short pleasure, anything which gives you quick pleasure. Jupiter is anything which gives you pleasure in long term, all right? That is why Jupiter expands slowly, but when he expands, he expands beautifully. Okay, so if there are afflictions in your Raj Yoga, all right so if saturn mars rahu ketu they are afflicting or kanjang and 90 percent of the times there are afflictions all right you will never find a yoga which is fully formed and you know there are no afflictions that cannot happen okay so when you fast on that particular day then at least till 12 then the malefic effects can be reduced okay so for example if your ninth lord is taking part in a particular yoga with the 10th lord then what you could do is you can select either of them okay so you can either select sunday from the 10th house you take mercury and from the 9th house you can either take sun or jupiter okay so you can play around with this so once in a week you can fast so wednesday has to be fixed okay 
wednesday till 12 that has to be fixed because that is for the 10th house then for the 9th house you can take sun which is sunday sunday you also fast till 12 okay now fasting does not mean that you keep sitting and cursing yourself okay oh my god i am fasting i feel so miserable life is terrible you know this religion and scriptures has made my life hell no that's not what fasting is fasting means that you utilize that time which you would utilize for eating or for cooking all right and on those days please abstain from uh, doing doing any any nonsense which means okay for example drinking alcohol or eating meat or doing anything related to adult material do not watch nasty things in the internet even if you do on those days don't do it okay so let's take some other examples so if you are born uh, sorry if your uh, fourth lord is involved okay fourth lord is involved in a in a raj yoga uh, with with which house with the fifth house <laughs> all right so for both the fifth and the ninth jupiter is the karak okay so vamandev's mantra is very essential all right on the tithi of vaman dwadasi that is very essential because he rules the he is the karak for both the five fifth and the ninth houses and so now suppose your fourth lord and your fifth lord is conjunct then this raj yoga is forming so then what you do is you take monday okay and on monday you try to fast if there are afflictions okay and now who is the karak for the fourth house it is the moon primarily it is the moon all right so then you have to take lord krishna because he is the avatar for uh, the moon okay then now when krishna was born janma ashtami he was born on ashtami tithi all right janma ashtami is around the corner and on ashtami of every month either it is shukla paksha or krishna paksha waning or waxing you can chant this mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya all right so th these are the things you can do and on mondays especially you can read the 10th canto of the shrimad bhagavatam that will be very 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 essential for you okay and uh, you can also activate these planets in different ways for example you can uh take milk every day night if your fourth lord is involved in a raj yoga okay so there are many things the ev every chart is different and the type of afflictions that that which is causing hindrance to this these raj yogas you know which are not letting these raj yogas function uh to that extent we have to fix the remedy so for example if saturn is afflicting any of these okay then fasting has to be done on the vara which means suppose uh, your fourth lord and fifth lord are conjunct but saturn is aspecting this conjunction okay then why saturn is the karaka for fasting all right so we have to voluntarily fast on a monday then till 12 at least then the afflictions reduce reduce does not mean it vanishes or it disappears or it just gets cancelled but we are accepting some voluntary pain okay and uh, that is that's like a tapasya which we are doing okay so 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 if rahu afflicts then different remedies will have to be done okay so depending on the sign where rahu is depending on the sign which saturn is uh, we might also have to do some other uh, mantras related to the avatars okay of those houses or the, those zodiac signs okay so this will be a very complex uh, it's it's a very complex matter but these are some of the rules you can use okay so to summarize you can uh, take the the vishnu avatar and you can take the the day and the tithi okay and on the day the vara you can fast and you can discuss on the stories from the shrimad bhagavatam related to that that avatar where that is okay in which canto and on that tithi when that avatar was born okay so for example krishna was born on ashtami janmashtami ram was born on navami then 
नरसिंह देव वॉज बॉर्न ऑन चतुर्दशी ओके एंड वामन देव वॉज बॉर्न ऑन द्वादशी ओके सो लाइक दैट वेर एवर विच एवर तिथि दिज अवतार्स वेर बॉर्न यू हैव टू चैंड द मंत्रास ऑफ दोज अवतारास इन दोज तिथिज ओके बोथ वैक्सिंग एंड वेनिंग and by that what will happen you will activate these raj yogas very powerfully okay and anybody can do this it's not very complicated it's very simple all right so there you go that was it from my side how to powerfully activate raj yogas and i have given these remedies to so many people and uh, so many people have messaged me that they had certain raj yogas but they they were not able to use those raj yogas so now when you do these remedies you can definitely 100% sure you can activate these raj yogas and you can do it and you don't need any money for this all right you don't have to do any pujas you don't have to go to any temple or you don't have to do anything at max the only thing you have to do is you have to maybe buy the shrimad bhagavatam or buy ramayan or or just set aside some time of your day to chant the mantras okay in those tithis of that month okay so have a note on the panchang and uh, that is it from my side okay so i wish that everybody who watches this video benefits from the remedies and they can activate their raj yogas and if you want more specific help regarding your individual chart about how to activate these yogas and how to benefit from them then you could always go down to my website which you will find below in the description section to book a reading with me personally okay there you go if you are new then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to activate raj yogas powerfully all right thank you very much god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him now with the raj yogas okay wish you all the best bye bye